If you watched my last video about a very successful coloring book that was making around $8,000 every month, you're going to enjoy this video. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make an income online from self-publishing. So I'm very excited about today's video and I often talk about how to brand your books and uh, how certain types of books are really good for branding like coloring books, like puzzle books, children's books or even notebooks. And in my last video, I did show you a coloring book that was making thousands of dollars every month. And the surprising thing was it was a very simple coloring book. The inside pages were really very simple line drawings. And I took another look at the coloring book niche. And I think that there are so many sub niches in coloring books that it's a, a fantastic type of book to create. If you have been creating low content books and you want to take your publishing business to the next level, then coloring books are a good way to do that. And especially because they are quite easy to create, you can create coloring books on Canva. And I did make a video about that. But even though it's easy to create them, the difficulty has always been finding the images to, to create these coloring books with. I think the best way is to draw them yourself if you are good at drawing, but not everybody can do that. So the other solution is to pay an illustrator to do it for us, which can be quite costly. And then there's the other option of creating a coloring book using ready-made images. And unfortunately, it's not the safest way to create a coloring book because a lot of the ready-made images are being sold to lots of people. And uh, we end up creating books with the same images that somebody else may have used with their book. And then the other problem is also the licensing. Some of the images haven't got the correct licensing. You have to have a commercial license to be able to publish them. So there are a lot of restrictions and it's getting more difficult to find the right images. And there are also a lot of AI created images and not everybody wants to use AI images. And also some of them are not really suitable for coloring, even though they are selling them as coloring images. They are really not ideal for people who want to color in. There, there seems to be a lot of images that have a lot of gray spaces. And to get high quality coloring book images isn't easy, especially with the market being flooded with all the AI images. So I was really searching to see if I could find good coloring images to create my coloring books with. And I stumbled across something that I think you're going to find really interesting. I really think this is the, the thing that I was looking for because I couldn't find ready-made images that were suitable for the type of coloring books that I wanted to make. And I found a fantastic new resource and I thought I better share it with you because I think this is a really good tool that could really help us in creating better coloring books. And uh, also it makes it easy to create them. And the tool that I want to show you is called the Publisher's Vault. So it's not really a tool, it's a membership platform offering a really vast collection of hand-drawn graphics for digital products like coloring books, but you could also use them for activity books, story books, or you could use them to create products on Etsy. I really want to concentrate today on showing you how you can use it to create coloring books. And it provides you with customizable characters and backgrounds. So that's why I found this so interesting because I think I'll just show you their sales page so you can see what this is. So here's their page. It's saying, finally, a vault of graphics that isn't AI, but hand drawn with love, passion and creativity. So this membership is designed for people who want to create coloring books or activity books. And I think you can even create children's books with this. At the moment, I've only explored coloring books, but I will dive deeper into this because I think it really looks good for $27 per month. You get an amazing amount of 
illustrations and if you had to pay an illustrator to do this it would cost just so much more so there is a video here that you can watch where the creator explains exactly what is included and you might be familiar with Hugh Hughes and he has created this membership platform to help people create coloring or activity books in a very easy and KDP friendly way so it says here that when you sign up up, you can access a world of customizable characters and backgrounds and you can create books in different niches so there's a little bit of information about why coloring books and activity books are the best choice I think that coloring books and activity books are the next step up if you're just creating low content notebooks or logbooks or planners then I think it's a good idea to expand into coloring books or activity books because there are just many many more niches and types of books that you can create so this is introducing the membership program and it says here that there are over 50 coloring niches such as fairies angels ants insects kawaii tunes and each niche contains 30 black and white character drawings 30 black and white background drawings, 30 colored character drawings and 30 colored background drawings. So not only do you get the black and white line drawings, but you also get the colored version of them so that you can create your covers with them, for example. And the membership has 50 and more different niches with the coloring theme sections alone. So here you can see a few examples. They've got uh, the magicians, 1950s themes, monster and aliens ancient china princess animals so you can see how many there are and there's also story themes so there are over 15 story niches such as Humpty Dumpty, Hansel and Gretel, Wolf and the Three Pigs, Snow Queen and many more. So you can do characters and storybooks even. And all of the stories are in the public domain but the graphics you receive are unique. So this is the good thing about this membership. They are all unique and hand-drawn. So that's really interesting and also you can create themes because there are um, more than six create niches such as fairies, robots, cowboys, cowgirls, space princesses and many more and uh, you can sort of build your characters you can see that here and this is like I said it's $27 a month and you get all of this once you you activate your membership and then you get updates every month you get a new pack every month and apparently from July you get two additional packs every month so this is being constantly upgraded and like it says here it's perfect for publishing coloring books activity books you could create physical products but I really just want to talk to you about coloring books and activity books really for this you can see a few people that have already accessed this and they all really like it and there is a little bit about the creator Hugh you can see he's got his hands full with his two daughters but he's managed to create this really good membership platform for anybody who wants to create coloring books and activity books I'm going to try and and see if I can use this for my children's books as well so if I do that I will make a separate video on that but um, it's definitely really good for coloring books here's a page on frequently asked questions so um, it tells you a little bit about the license I did ask Hugh what happens if you cancel your membership and he told me that if you cancel your membership you can still sell the books that you have created for Amazon KDP. You don't have to unpublish them, but you won't be able to use the products that you have downloaded. So it's a little bit like, or it's a lot like the Creative Fabrica license where you can continue to sell what you have created already. You don't have to unpublish your books if you cancel the membership but you can't use it for any new products. But I think this is incredible value and I'm going to show you how you can use it on Canva. So I'm quickly going to show you how we can use the illustrations and I've gone inside the vault here and you can already see how many files you, you get, how many illustrations. So there's a video here that you can watch first and it tells you a little bit more about the membership 
And also there's another one about the license, what you can and what you can't do. And then you've got all the, all the graphic packs. And if I click on one of them, that's just one of them. And you've already got so many things here. So I've downloaded one to show you how you could use it, which is this alien monster pack. So you just click download and then you go into your downloads folder and they come in a, in a zip pack. So there are four folders in there and let's just click on the first one. So you can choose between SVGs and PNG. Let's click on the PNG and look how many images you, you get here alone. Um, that's quite a lot. Let's click on one and open it quickly. So there's a little dragon there. Let's go back. So you, you can see how many there are. You can then upload them onto Canva. I'll show you in a minute, but let's just quickly see what else we've got. So you've got three more folders here. So <laughs> let's click on this one. So these are backgrounds and backgrounds and characters. So again, they're uh, divided into PNGs and SVGs. And uh, you can see how many you get in each folder and these are the characters so i'm just going to upload this onto canva and then i show you what we can do with this so i've uploaded some of the images onto canva and it's really very very easy to create these coloring books and i chose some of the monsters in the pack that i downloaded and there are just so many images <laughs> i had to open a completely new folder to store them in and i think it's a good idea to organize your pc or your laptop whatever you're using to have all the images to hand and then all you have to do is upload them onto canva and then build your coloring book so you can create a page by just clicking on one of the backgrounds so you can either take it right to the edges and uh, publish your book with bleed or you can decide to to leave a margin here you could even put a frame around it but you could also just take it right to the edge of your page so that is completely up to you you can do that either way and then all you have to do is take one of your little characters this one for example and just place it wherever you want to place it because it's a, a png transparent image um, you can place it anywhere in the design and it would make sense so you could have him here or if you prefer a different one you can put them there so you can just create completely customized images you could even have two of them just one in the background maybe like that and that way your pages are completely unique the chances that someone would create the same page is very small and also you then have to think of your product as the whole book and it would be very unlikely that somebody creates the exact same book as you with the exact same pages this is why this product is so good in my opinion because you can just create completely unique coloring books that are actually really good quality sometimes with ai created images you're just not getting the type of image that is required for coloring and these are hand drawn images so this is really excellent and then if you wanted to create a cover you could uh, do the same thing you just take one of the backgrounds of course you would have to have the cover measurements but i just want to show you in principle how you would do it and you can put one of your characters here or what you could also do is have the character as a black and white one so that it shows that you have to color them in and uh, then you can choose a nice font and maybe say you'd have the title of your book but i'm just going to quickly show you how you how you would place the title on your book quite like a nice bold font for coloring books and uh, you can then change it a little bit make the font a different color i quite like doing this sort of thing where i've got a white lettering and then i put some effects in so i can give it an outline and then i can make the outline uh, from a color in the book for example this lilac and i make it quite strong and then you can also curve it a little bit um, that sometimes looks quite fun so 
you can make this better. I'm just doing it very, very quickly to show you what you could do. This is not ideal, of course, but you can play around with that. And that's how quickly you could create a cover for your book. And I've also downloaded some other images just to give you a different example. These are some nice little B images. So I'm going to get the backgrounds first. These are the color backgrounds. So let me just upload some onto Canva and then I show you what we can make with these. So I've uploaded some other ones just to show you how versatile this is. I mean, you can just make so many different pages with this. There's a background and we can just place one of these cute little bees in there. I think this looks really pretty and this would make such a lovely coloring book and you can go into the nature themes or any related niche. So this looks really cute and you can also create something a bit different and uh, make something really simple like this and maybe put two characters in one and uh, you can even flip this one in Canva so so it, so it faces the other way that's another way you can make it different to anybody else and there's another little coloring page really quickly created with the help of these illustrations and uh, I just think this is brilliant this is the kind of thing that I was hoping someone would create so that I can create lots of coloring books and uh, and also the um, the covers for it so we could take something like this, put a little B there that has to be colored in. And again, put your title across the book. You can be very creative with this. I'm just quickly showing you what you can do. But obviously you can take your time and design this really well with really good fonts and uh, and maybe just make parts of the cover in color and parts in black and white. Or you could just make the whole thing in color so that people can see what the inside pages would look like. So I just wanted to show you this quickly because I think this is a brilliant way to create coloring books, activity books, children's books. There is a lot you can do with this membership. It's $27 per month and uh, you can use all the packs that are in this membership and you will get additional packs every month. So from now until July, you get one additional pack every month. And from July, you will get two additional packs. So I think this is really great value. And you can create unique coloring books or activity books. So I will leave a link to this below the video. And if you have any questions whatsoever, just leave them below the video in the comments as well. And I'll try my best to answer. But I think this is a particularly good way to create unique coloring books without the use of AI. And uh, you can combine all these images to make unique pages in your book. And also the fact that they provide us with the colored in images makes it so much easier to create the covers. And you could also create storybooks with that. So there are lots of things you can do with this membership. I'm going to have some fun and create some books with this. This is exactly the kind of thing that I was waiting for. And I wanted to share it with you because I know that a lot of you are worried about the kind of images that you can use. Um, some of you are worried about Canva images. Canva is a design tool, so you can use it to design your books with it. And you can get the images from other places. You don't have to use the Canva images if you don't feel safe using them. So this would be a great alternative for those of you who are a bit worried about using the Canva images, but you can use Canva as a design tool. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.